Yes, sir. Good morning, everybody. I ended up at Mount Elbert. Mount Elbert, the tallest mountain in Colorado. That's right. That's where I'm at. That's where I slept last night and just felt a felt a pull. There's 14 14ers to choose from in the Arkansas Valley, and I decided to come here. So here's a yeah, I'll show you. Let me show you. Here's a sign here. Uh huh. There we go. So um, it's fourteen thousand four hundred and something. Where is it? Fourteen thousand four hundred and twenty-one feet. So, all right, let's go get ready. Oh man, appreciate you all. Appreciate you all around the world. Hope you're having a great day. I hope your run was went well today. And uh, let's just rock and roll. How's that sound? How does that sound? Or I, I should say, I hope your run goes well because this publishes in the morning. So I bet you many of you haven't even run yet, ran yet, run yet, ran yet. That's right. Here we go. Going up. Yeah. Gonna run it. <laughs> nice. Yes. Absolutely. Not many people try. <laughs> Just like yesterday, up we go, going to get some vertical, thankfully. Uh, Mount Albert, it's, a, it's about three, I believe it's about three and a half miles to the top, whereas yesterday was five, so 10 round trip. So I'm looking for something a little shorter, um, not eat, well, this trail will be quite a bit easier compared to Mount Yale yesterday. That was pretty rocky and cliffed out at points and you had to really watch where you were going. Today's trail is much more tame and calm. And as you can see by the cars behind me, a lot of people do it because it's the highest mountain in Colorado. All right, let's put my watch. Woke up a little earlier this morning. Excited about that. Not sure why, but I am. There's 14,000 feet. It's a party up here. Holy smokes. Lots of people. All right. Whew. That was a doozy. Oh man. Oh. We'll just see, see how we did once we get to the coffee shop. You know the drill by now. Oh man, it's getting fussy up here with the weather. I don't like being up here with all these clouds, but we're gonna get off of here real quick. Downward, D downward we go. And there you have it, Mount Albert in the books. So we did Pikes Peak two days ago, Mount Yale yesterday, and Mount Albert today, the tallest mountain in Colorado. Feeling good, feeling tired as I should right after those three mountains, but 
now I'm actually heading back down to my house, which is about 90 minutes away, not too far. Uh, basically, I need to uh, I need to do laundry, right? And I need to sleep in a bed. Um, as well, maybe you don't know this, but when you are training hard, the regeneration and the adaptation to your training happens while you're sleeping. So if you can sneak in at least eight hours, but preferably nine or 10 hours during the most intense training time leading up to your peak race, that is money. It's so good for your body for recovery to try and strive for as much sleep as possible. But even more important than that, right now my legs are barking at me and they're telling me, Seth, you gotta go to the pool. So I'm zipping down to the rec center. I just know after three intense days in the mountains that I need to get some aqua jogging in and just some weightless motion in these legs just to stretch out. Uh, yeah, stretch out, roll out, and move without any pounding on the legs. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm excited to hit the reset button and then get back into the mountains. Um, who knows? I don't know. We'll see how the legs feel in the morning, but uh, that is the situation. Heading back down to home and frankly, the studio. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Wednesday, July, not August, July 31st, Wednesday, this week, upcoming week, uh, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I will spend all day if I have to making sure that the Wi-Fi is working and fast enough. So Wednesday, July 31st, the next running shoe giveaway. All right, here we go. Dropping shoes here. Shoes from Connecticut. Oh, thank you so much. This is exciting. All right, there's one pair from Connecticut. Let's see though what this is. This is not a pair of running shoes, as you can see. Look at that, that box is way too thin. And uh, well, it's from Chicago. So I'm intrigued to see what is in here. Let's, hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, you guys ready for this? This is the note that I just opened up. Hey Seth, you mentioned your gimbal was acting up, so I thought I would send you mine. I don't use it. If you don't need or want it, perhaps you can pass it along to someone else who could use it. Thanks for running with me in Chicago. I hope to see you again soon. Kofuzi, look at that. Oh yeah, there's a postcard. Oh my goodness, Kofuzi, what are you doing? What are you trying to pull off here? So I guess this is his old gimbal that he doesn't use. Oh my goodness. Wow, thank you Kofuzi. Okay, I don't know what kind of uh, Feu Tech, I, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but uh, yes, my gimbal was acting up in Chicago. So and that the, a gimbal is what holds the camera and makes it really nice and steady. Oh my gosh, Kofuzi, you're amazing. This is amazing. This is much nicer than mine. Kofuzi is doing some pretty cool things with the, uh, I think it's the Insta camera. It's like the 360 stuff. It's like, I don't know. He's, he's doing some crazy things. So thank you, Kofuzi. You're amazing. I have a feeling. I have a feeling I'll put it to you, sir. I have a feeling. So, all right, let's see. All right, let's see here. Um, this is from Florida. Another, it looks like another pair of shoes. You're the best. Oh, nice. I tell you what, ladies, you, ladies, you're going to be taken care of at this next giveaway. I can see it now. So here we go. Women's eight and a half worn twice, three mile run, and a five mile run. So these shoes have eight miles in them. Don't seem to help my particular foot issue. Uh, so she was trying to figure out a foot issue, it sounds like. All right, here we go. It's a Brooks. It's a Brooks. Oh, 
Nice, the Brooks uh, Bedlam. The Brooks Bedlam with that DNA amp midsole, eight and a half women's, worn twice, eight miles, amazing. Thank you so much. You know who you are who sent these, uh, looking real good. So I tell you what, we have quite a few shoes for the ladies at this point for the giveaway. Okay, the vlog is done because I'm incredibly tired. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna edit quick. So apologies if this vlog was a little, uh, not as well edited as others. I just gotta go to bed because the last two nights I camped out in my car because of rainstorms up in the mountains. I couldn't set the tent up quick enough because I was uploading the vlog and all that stuff. So therefore, question of that, well, first of all, keyword, tired, tired, can't think of anything else. <laughs> I can't think of anything else because I'm just straight up tired. So question of the day. Oh, when <laughs> in running and in life, and maybe in work, and maybe in school, when plans don't go as planned, where do you, like, where do you pivot? What's your pivot? Do you, how do you pivot? How, what's your strategy for pivoting and training and life and work and school? What's your pivot like when plan, like today, I basically, I, what I, I, what I usually do is I reassess in a pretty short amount of time, usually five to 10 minutes. And sometimes I would say the decisions are made a little too hastily, but it's, it's like, I just gets back to my whole, you know, you guys know me, like I don't like to waste time. So when I realize like, oh my gosh, this is really hard to run, train, set up a tent, edit, find internet every single day up in the mountains, I pivoted and I said, okay, I gotta come up with a better game plan for the next time I attempt to do this. So anyway, that's why I'm back at my house. That's the question of the day. I know it's a little out there, but um, we're going with it and we're sticking with it. All right, seek beauty, work hard.